Global forecasters predict that much of the international economy could tip into recession in 2023. But Malaysia is optimistic the country would be able to dodge a recession, according to Minister of International Trade and Industry, Tengku Datuk Sri Zafrul Abdul Aziz. We ask economist Dr. Jeffrey Williams about the prospects of Malaysia avoiding a recession. I think many international forecasters were quite pe pessimistic um, up to the end of uh, last year. But actually, the, in the very short period that we've had already this year, the world's changed quite a lot. And uh, these developments mean that the prospects um, for Malaysia and also particularly um, um, Asia are not as bad as they were just weeks ago. And of course, one of the main um, issues there is the opening up of China. So many of the glo more gloomy predictions were based on the idea that China was going to continue to be locked down because of the zero COVID uh, policies. And that has caused quite a, um, a lot of problems uh, for Asia in particular. However, some analysts fear that slower demand from developed economies like the US and Europe will mean weaker exports for ASEAN nations, including Malaysia. Actually, things in Europe and the United States are still pretty um, gloomy, but not as bad because inflation in particular has, appears to have peaked in Europe and America. And what that means is that the interest rate cycle will also have peaked. So whilst we can't be sure that there won't be any further increases in interest rates, we don't expect there to be continuous in increases in interest rates for the rest of the year. And we may see there what we've just seen here in Malaysia, which is a pause in interest rates and then perhaps interest rates coming down. Because what we expect is that inflation will fall very quickly and very sharply in Europe and in America. To strengthen Malaysia's resilience to global economic downturns, Jeffrey suggests an increase in domestic trade, as well as boosting trade with ASEAN nations. In terms of our relationship with ASEAN, uh, it's very important to try to increase the flows of um, trade, goods and services. It's very important to um, get back to a stable flow of people, because you know one of the reasons why we had um, Quite a lot of difficulties last year was the labor shortage and the labor um, problems with Indonesia. So it's very good that the Prime Minister straight away went to Indonesia and is, is uh, really working very positively, I think, to settle some of those issues immediately. That's very important. And then also to push forward on the agenda for um, uh, uh, growth in ASEAN, integration across ASEAN in terms of trade and capital flows, but then also um, the CPTPP. So, I mean, what's going to happen there in terms of Malaysia's contribution to that bigger, broader market?